Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metal Arts, and I just wanted to do a quick video here to uh, show off the uh, VFD and that we've got everything running. I realized that I must have wired it out of phase. Well, not completely out of phase, uh, reversed phase. So I've got to flip a couple of wires around and see if that uh, fixes things. But uh, I think it's ready to go. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. So this is our VFD. It's a Tico model. FM50. Um, I do have it set to the 60 hertz right now. It, um, you know, it's a pretty, pretty decent little inverter-based uh, VFD. Um, I did go ahead and get it wired in. Now, again, this is all just temporary until I can get it in an enclosure and, and everything else. It should be upright so that the heat's going. Uh, but, you know, again, I got it wired in, and I think what I did wrong here, and for, you know, I'll disconnect everything and test it, but I think I've got these uh, terminal T1 and T3, I think I have them reversed. So I will flip those around and see if that makes a difference for me. Um, but anyways, it's pretty straightforward, right? We press run. Uh, I did not do any of the programming yet, so it ramps up. You can set how quickly it ramps up to full uh, power. And then we come over, we're in low first gear right now. And if we set it to reverse, because again, I, like I said, it's backwards right now, but there we go. 60 RPMs, just like we should. All right? Throw it in second gear. 130. Throw it in the third gear. I guess it's the 230. Right? Seems like everything's working okay. Got it into first gear. Switch to high. Now we're at 450. That should be 800. And then top it out. Should get about 1500 RPMs out of this guy. So. Doing what I was hoping for, and then when we're done, stop it. And bring everything back down, and shut it off. So, I do have the ability to wire up some uh, controls in here, and I think that is what I would like to do. I'd like to get rid of, uh, I'd like to not be using this, uh, this portion of the controller. I think I'd like to wire it in to a... Um, when I when I put this in an enclosure, I think what I'm going to do is get a, a box where it's a you know red stop, green go kind of thing with a, a, a pot in there, a potentiometer, so I can make adjustments on the fly, um, and then a, you know forward and reverse switch on that. So I think that's the plan long term, but short term, it's play a little bit. So thanks again, appreciate it. All right, round two. We uh, reversed the, you can see, reversed the wiring in there. It's got the phase correct. And now forward really is, if you guys can see this or not, forward. So, it's doing what it's supposed to do. All right, very good. I'm a happy camper.